Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me, but first impressions edition. If you guys didn't see my last haul, which I'll link it down below, I went to Walmart and I picked up some new face products, some new brushes, so I just want to give you guys my opinion. So I'm going to combine it all in one, and yeah, we're just going to get started. Okay, so I have this e.l.f. hydrating primer. I want to see how it works. Hydrating primers are good if you have um, dry skin, which I do have. I have really dry skin, actually. I don't know if you can see it, but I already put moisturizer on, but I'm really dry around my nose. So I want to give this a shot, but I'm only going to put it on half of my face. So I'm going to take half a pump, and this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to work it into my skin. I don't know if that was enough, so I'm just going to, it didn't feel like enough, so I'm just going to go ahead with and get a little more, and then rub it in. It has like a silicone-y feel, but it is hydrating, I can tell already. It feels good. It smells good, actually. I like it. So I'm just going to work it in. Okay, now I'm going to try the um, L'Oreal um, Skin Beautifier BB Cream. Mine's in deep. And this says it primes, corrects, hydrates, and perfects. So I'm really going to see how it works because this is the primer slide and this is not. So I'm going to squeeze a little into my hand. And this is what it looks like. It has no color to it because it is skin adjusting. So I'm just going to dip my finger in and go around. BB Cream's dry fast, so I want to go ahead and work this in I'm using my elf small stipple brush I don't know how it's gonna work I feel like that's just gonna be enough for one side I don't know I don't feel like it's really doing anything all right so I'm actually going to take some more and squeeze it on the brush maybe that will help this is what it looks like on the brush BB cream it's not gonna cake up on you like foundation will so you can go in with as much as you want I can't really tell the difference, can you guys? I feel it sinking in and it feels really nice, especially on this side with the primer, it feels nice. I'm not gonna set my face because I don't need to because I'm dry and also it's just a BB cream. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. All right, so I already primed and set my eyes. I didn't pick up a new concealer or a new brush to set my eyes with, so I didn't show that. I just primed with my uh, Maybelline concealer as usual and set with um, Anastasia Buttery. Well, with Buttery by Anastasia. I'm going to take Dusty Rose by Anastasia and this shade right here that's really pale. I'm going to mix those together and pop those in my crease. I'm going to take my e.l.f. eye crease brush. I'm just going to dip the color in a little bit. And then I dipped it in Dusty Rose and I'm going to pop that into my crease. Okay, so this brush, it's... It's blending, it's doing its job, but it's not wowing me. It does a good job at blending. I feel like this brush is going to be good for if you want to do precise blending, which when I use a transition color, I don't really care. I'm just throwing it in my crease. But this is really going to be good for if you want to do precise blending. So I like this brush. So now I'm going to take the e.l.f. contour brush, and I'm going to go in with, with this really deep, um, dark brown color. I'm going to pop that um, softly into my crease. I'm only going to dip it in two times really lightly. One, two, and I'm going to build maybe three, four, because <laughs> it looked like I didn't pick up a lot, and I'm going to build that into my crease really slowly. Okay, maybe I should have started from the middle because I have a big gap right here. Uh, not a gap. Okay, maybe I should have started from the middle because I have a lot of product right here. So I'm going to have to go back and blend that out, but that's okay. I'm going to go back with the blending brush we used before. I'm just going to blend that brown out, which I didn't want to do because, you know, cut crease sharp, but we can't have just a lot of product right there. Now for this, I'm going to start in the middle. And with the light hand, build it up. Yeah, okay. This is working out a lot better than the other side. Alright, so now I'm going to take this Eco Tools brush, which looks like a lid brush, and I'm going to take this really pale off-white color, and I'm going to put this on the lid. You don't have to. If you set your eyes with buttery like I did, you could leave it like this because it looks nice, but I just want a little more white on my lid. So I'm going to place this right there on the lid. You see the difference it makes instead of that one? This one blends in more and this one pops more. That's what I like. This is a really nice brush. It's really soft and it's a lot bigger. This is good for all over the lid. So I wanted to find my outer V. So I'm going to take this 
um, kind of tapered pointy brush, which looks like a pencil brush actually. And I'm going to take this color right here, this really matte black color. I'm going to put that only in the outer V. This looks like it can be very pigmented, but that happens a lot where the blacks look really pigmented and they're not. So I'm going to dip my brush in it like three times. And then I'm going to put that on my outer V. And build it out really slowly, soft strokes. So just take your time. Black can be very messy. You can go to a black eye really quick. Um, so just be careful. So we're just going to go ahead and contour very lightly. This is the e.l.f. Um, blush palette. And on the back of the box it says you can contour with it. So I'm going to see how truthful that is. I'm going to take this color, which looks darker. I'm hoping this works out nice. This is from Eagle's Tool Eagle Tools as well. I'm just going to... And I'm just going to go and see if I can get more, like, effect with it, so. Um, I can kind of tell a difference. It put a lot of color right there, so. I don't know, maybe this wasn't a good brush to try out with it, but I'm going to try and blend it out. Okay, now it's just leaving like legit, like a chunk of color right there. I'm going to take this one right here, which is the first one, hit my brush in it really lightly. These are so pigmented, like you can't help but pick up a lot. So I just want to tap it really lightly. Nothing. My all-time highlight, which I think it was in my my last two videos, my highlight was so on fleek. Even in my vlog, if you didn't see that, it's going to be linked down below. But I've been highlighting with this eyeshadow right here. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, blush brush, and I'm just going to dip it in twice, maybe three times, and get it right there on the tip. And then I'm going to highlight my face. You can't see it on camera, but in the sunlight, like, highlight on fleek. I'm going to go ahead with this new mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous in Black Brown, and it's with the curved wand. I tried the original with the normal wand, with the normal wand, and I liked it, but I want to try the curves. Okay, it's like the same thing. It kind of leaves my lashes a little clumpy, which I don't mind. Okay, and I totally forgot about, like, to finish my eyes before I moved on to the rest of my face. So I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes, and then we'll come back, finish the eyes, and do the lip combo. Alright guys, so I'm back. I did my lashes and everything. So I'm going to take this new brush from Eco Tools that I have, and I'm going to take this... I'm going to smudge this dark brown color on my lower lash line. You guys know I like putting colors on my lower lash line. It just really opens the eyes no matter what color you put. At the bottom, I'm going to dip my brush in Dusty Rose as well. Love this color. And put that at the bottom too. Okay, so now for lips. I'm going to line my lips with the Jordana Lip Liner and Baby Berry. And I'm going to actually fill my lips in just so my lipstick will stay on a little longer. I'm going to take Maybelline lipstick in Untainted Spice. I'm just going to do a soft swipe of that. And now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lip Color and I Can Bear It. This is a liquid lipstick and I'm just going to apply that. Alright, and then the look is complete. I'm going to come back with my review later, let you know how the BB cream lasted all day. It's currently like 2 o'clock so I'll be back later to give you guys an update how I like it and stuff like that. Hey guys, so I'm back. It's been about 8 hours. It's like 10 o'clock now. So this is what my makeup looks like. So let's start with a review on the primer. 
the elf primer i liked it i like how it went on i like how it settled in and i like how it made my makeup last um the, next is the bb cream i didn't see a huge difference with it i definitely like this better because it's not greasy and it's pretty lightweight it feels amazing on the skin like my skin just feels so amazing it held up better with a primer now we're getting into the eye brushes i use um one is from elf and it's the um eye crease brush i really like it it was really good for blending out colors and for helping me create my cut crease um this one is just your typical eyeshadow brush it reminds me a lot of the elf eyeshadow c brush but it looks a lot better for um just putting color on your lid if you're not going to be packing like you pack a pigment on or like a glittery color and you want to be precise with that um i wouldn't recommend this because it's too soft and it doesn't have that coarse feel like um like my eyeshadow c brush this is good for precise packing and this is good for just running all over the lid. Next was this brush, which I used to put the color on my lower lash line. Really like this. Next is this pointed um, kind of like pencil brush. And I like this for really defining my outer V. This was a really good brush. I had to go over and blend, but this is really good for putting the color exactly where you want it. Next, this is the big brush from the set. I used it to contour. I really recommend this brush for if you want to do just like a nice wash of color on your face, like or like the bronzer, like a nice sparkly bronzer just to add some life. It's not good for precise um, contouring, which I kind of knew because it's so fluffy. And this is also good if you're more fair and you like to like bronze up your face um, before you contour. This is a really good brush for just bronzing up the cheeks. So I recommend this for bronzing and everything else, but not so much for contouring. The next new thing I used was this e.l.f. Um, blush palette, which... Um, this color, well, which, this color I used to contour, which, um, I don't know, I really don't know how I feel about it. I might have to do it a couple more days. This was just a first impression. I kind of like it. I just like this side because with the primer, it helped keep my contour in, in place like this one. It's kind of messy and it's kind of sliding like this side is still intact. So I did like that. And, um, as far as the blush for here, it added a nice color to my skin. If you guys want my next video to be a review, comment down below and I will definitely do this. And this is the palette in dark, so let me know if you want to see, um, a review and using all the, um, blushes and definitely me talking more in depth. Okay, so I only have three more things to um, give my reviews about. Next is this e.l.f. blush brush. I really like this for highlighting. It was a good brush. I want to try it next for blush or maybe contouring. So once it's time for me to wash my brushes, I'll give it another try again. Next is this um, voluminous curved brush. Um, I like it. It's nothing different than the original formula. And then next is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in the color I Can Bear It. I always have to smell stuff. It doesn't have the best smell to it, but I can deal with it. Um, I'm kind of in between with this lipstick. I would repurchase more, but the only thing, but the only cons to it is that it settles in your fine lines. There's no products that I tried that I didn't like. I give these all a thumbs up, and I recommend these to you guys. But um, I'll probably give you my final thoughts in another video about this BB cream. I'm going to use it more now in a lot more tutorials that are like, everyday tutorials I might use it and then when I do um like night out looks I'll probably use foundation and stuff but I really like it I'm really loving this side especially with this primer I really like this primer I definitely recommend this for dry skin I'm actually going to do a separate review on this product as well I want to see how good it really is I want to try it with like a um, matte foundation because I'm dry I can't wear a mount mount <laughs> I can't wear a matte foundation because it'll cling on to my dry patches so next I want to try the Maybelline matte and poreless and I'm going to try this um primer and i'll film my review on it and let you guys know if it's the real deal and yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you like videos of this and you want me to do more first impressions definitely let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video bye